Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today I'll be doing your daily tarot reading for Friday, October 7th. We'll begin by taking a look at the overall energies um, for the day with the oracle cards and then we'll move to the tarot for some more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love this, especially for a Friday. Um, okay. This is about serendipity. Something just kind of like, you know, a dropping out of the sky, literally <laughs> a little gift, a little token, um, a little a love pet from the universe. So this could be, you know, you, you bump into an old friend, um, or, you know, you just get a random comment that just, you know, makes your day, something like that. Like, just something that puts you um, either into a more positive vibe or it puts you kind of like into this trajectory of looking at a new path that you may not have considered. I'm really getting the idea of a path and you know we just had the um, new moon in Libra and that energy you know will stay with us um, for a couple of days so it could be that, you know, somebody says something or does something that you're kind of like, oh, wait a minute, <laughs> maybe I'll try this new thing. Okay, so let's take a look at the tarot. Wow, lots of energy here. Yeah, you're stepping into a new world. You're ending one um, chapter and you're stepping into a new chapter. And I have a feeling that this situation that kind of falls into your lap today or over the next couple of days really is kind of like the catalyst to help you move from the last chapter into your next chapter because sometimes it's hard to finally finish clearing out some type of energy you know um, from the past and it, it could be a relationship or just a situation you know it could be something big in our life or it could just be something small but there's definitely an energy of ending something realizing something is really over and kind of going into the into the next phase into your next chapter and you know I love the energy of the serendipity card because it's just so happy it's kind of playful um, it's just something that is just it kind of just raises your vibration to the point where it's kind of like yeah I'm really excited like you may have been wanting to step into this new energy but you've been having a hard time and with the hanged man this is the energy of really waiting <laughs> looking at a certain situation in the past from different perspectives you needed to look at that situation in a different perspective so that you could move on you could learn the lesson of it and i think that this situation that happens um and once again it could be something really small it does not have to be a big thing but it helps you to change your perspective so somebody could say something that helps you to realize, okay, wait a minute, I get a different perspective. I understand why I had to go through this thing in the past or something. Or you get a different perspective about how somebody that you were dealing with could have looked at that situation in a different way. And it's just a shift. It's a shift of your perspective, and I think it's a very positive shift. It's like almost like a little aha. Okay, I get it. And then it's, um, you know, you see things more clearly. It's kind of like, oh, now I know that I can move forward. It's kind of like you were, <laughs> you, I always say this, I use this scenario, you're standing at the starting line of a race, right? It's kind of like you're trying to step into the next path, but you look down and your shoelaces are untied, right? So you, you bend down to tie your shoelaces. And when you're doing that, it gives you a pause. Um, it helps you to reflect maybe on how you want to you know, get out of the runner's gate or whatever, or why you're so excited about this race. Or you could be tying your shoes and you hear somebody over at the sideline cheering you on. It's just this moment that you have when you're like tying your shoelace, trying to figure out, trying to get ready for this next step that you suddenly get clarity. 
about how you need to move forward. And with the Page of Cups, I kind of almost wonder if it's not, the Page of Cups is usually like an apology or somebody saying something really sweet to you. <laughs> like I, I, once again, I get a sense that it's going to be something that happens that's really sweet. And it could be a compliment. It could be somebody apologizing for something. And it could have absolutely nothing to do with something from the past um, that you're trying to end a cycle of and then starting a new chapter. It could be that this apology has nothing to do with that, right? But it helps you to make the connection to something that did occur in the past and you get the aha, you get the clarity, you finally suddenly understand the lesson that you had to learn so that you can step into this new path. Really nice. It's so interesting how, you know, our guides can send us the message that we need in a totally different way. And yet we totally get to the connection. We're like, oh, okay, I get this. <laughs> All right, so here's your creativity oracle card. Go deeper. Expressing the deeper meanings in life while staying attuned to childlike wonder is the heart of all great art. And once again, I think that this has the, the childlike energy to it. It's like you're looking at something really seriously and you're having a really hard time understanding a different perspective that somebody may have or looking at it in a different way it's just a change of perception of the situation and it's kind of like something kind of playful falls into your lap and it gives you the perfect understanding of how to move forward I really love it. It's going to be a great day. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Once again, if you enjoyed it, please consider like, sharing, or subscribing. But I hope you go out and make it a great day. Much love and light to you. See you tomorrow.